Chicago PD, Recap Season 10, Part 2. Intelligence helps state's attorney, Nina Chapman, investigate a drug runner who avoided prison years after Chapman's informant disappeared in mysterious circumstances. But Voight discovered the secret from Chapman's past one that no only threatens the investigation, but also Chapman's career. After season upon season of ups and down, Burgess and Ruzik finally rekindled their romance after a therapy session seemed to be just what the former flames needed as it led to a steamy kiss which led to an even steamier hookup. When a family are poisoned, investigation discovers a connection to the Bex, sending Ruzik uncovered as a worker for their business and as he gets closer to Samantha, chilling information concerning her father, Richard emerges. He's not only trafficking drugs, but he is also a violent white supremacist running an organization. Voight later takes the stand in high-stakes murder trial against the curious drug kingpin Archero Morales, involving attorney Chapman once again. A tragic crime leads the team closer to the Beck family and their deadly ideology. Ruzek makes progress infiltrating the Becks earning Samantha and Richard's trust with a bold move. Upton is clearly still holding on to hope that his husband returns even after he extended his time in Bolivia without telling her and stopped communicating with her. But it all came to a head in episode 20 when Upton survived a brutal kidnapping in an attempt to save one of the Halstead's most trusted informants, ending in a huge wake-up call for her after being rescued by the team. Voight later tells her that it's okay to let go. If you're the only one fighting, that doesn't mean you don't love them. Just means you love you more. At the end of the episode, she takes off her ring. Taurus finds himself in the midst of a murder case that hits close to home and threatens to expose his troubled past. As he strolled to reconcile his whole life with his new one, he ends up opening up about his past with Voight. In the Lost episode, Richard's timeliness for a deadly attack moves up, and Samantha panics trying to leave town. Ruzek confronts her and ends up arresting Samantha. After Attorney Chapman offers Samantha immunity in exchange for information about her father's attack, they find a farm with information about the white supremacist attack against a school. But Richard is informed of this by his grandson, who has been manipulated by Richard into believing that this ideology is correct. Ruzek confronts Samantha's son, but he shoots him, leaving him wounded. Voight and Burgess find him and take him to the hospital, while a very injured Ruzek asks Burgess to save Samantha and her son. Burgess finds Sam as he tries to flee, but they are attacked by Richard who takes his grandson as a hostage to try to escape, but Adwater shoots him in the head. Everyone fears Ruzek's death as the last episode of the 10th season ends. I hope you liked this recap. If you want to see more recaps of Chicago PD or Chicago 1, click here. Thanks for watching Flicks and TV.